It's hello from Amanda and Deborah. We're here to say take our kids, please. Now we have my two-year-old Jane in the studio with us today. So if you hear her laughing or crying, that's what it is. Yeah, eating her Cheerios. <laughs> so anyway, talking of Jane, I have some really great holiday ideas for Deborah. Thank you, because I was just saying to Amanda that I'd really love to take my kids, or at least my older girls, to see a show in the next week or so. And she is my personal gold star concierge and looked up some events for me. So Amanda, what are they? Well, we have Jingle Bell Rock mm -hmm. at the El Portal. That sounds fun. Actually, it's this weekend, Sunday. Okay. And the El Portal, that's in Hollywood. It, I think it is, yeah. yes. Okay. It's, it's a really, it's a nice little theater. They've got some like holiday singing, like animated cartoon songs. Oh, are they going to do the Heat Miser? I love that one. I don't, He's never... Mr. Heat Miser. You know. I've never heard you know, of that. She didn't grow up in America, so she doesn't know. So anyway, lots of fun stuff. If we, if I had free time on Sunday, we might be going to that. Mm, that one so sounds what do you good. Think? That sounds very good. Sounds like something uh, my, that Maggie, especially my six-year-old, would really like. Right. My second suggestion, and I wish I had time to go and do this before Christmas, but I don't. And that is Mary Poppins at the Armisen. Oh yeah. We have some cheap tickets. And the Amundsen is such a great venue. I would love to take, I think just Maggie, my six-year-old, would be fine for Mary Poppins. Yes. I don't think my four and two-year-old could handle it. Right, I think it's a But it might be show. worth it just for me and Maggie. I think so, like a special outing for the mm. two of you. That would be really see, fun. I want to go and see that. Too bad. <laughs> then my third suggestion is the Pasadena Pops Holiday Pops. Remember, you oh, said you wanted yeah. to go and see the Boston Pops. I found one here in Los Angeles. So now I have Pasadena. no excuse. No excuse. You have to go and do it. <laughs> Sing along traditional songs. Okay, and are they doing like the whole Charlie Brown and they all are that? doing Charlie oh, Brown, in I fact. I love that music. So, now, that sounds like something I could take all the girls to, don't you think? I think you could take all of them, even the little one. And it also sounds like the kind of thing where we could dress them up in their holiday dresses and their hair bows, another excuse to get them all cute it's and take pictures. Exactly. Mm. It's, it's an excuse to dress up, have fun and enjoy the holiday. Amanda, Why would you need an excuse to enjoy the holiday? But those are wonderful ideas. Thank you. I know. I wish I had time to go and do them myself, but I don't because Elizabeth and I are going to a Nutcracker this Sunday. Oh, well, that'll be really fun though. So we're looking forward to that. You know, maybe Gold Star should look into providing a concierge service for everyone. Personally tailored events. They've oh, no, wait, us. wait. A gold star sommelier. That's what we need. <laughs> what kind of wine should I drink today, Amanda? Wine to go with your show. <laughs> that sounds good. An idea for another video cast. <laughs> All right. All right. It's bye from Amanda. And Deborah. We'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.